Okay. <clears throat> All right, fam. Um, hello, guys. Um, so in this video, we want to learn the techniques on how to build uh, the DOS resiliency and how to use services like AWS Shield, Firewall Manager, and um, AWS um, Cloud Front to architect for the DOS resiliency and maintain robust operational capabilities that allow for rapid detection and engagement during high severity events. Um, so we we'll learn how to um, how to detect and filter out malicious web requests, reduce attack surfaces, and protect web facing workloads at scale with maximum automation. So this lab, uh, we're using um, the OWAP's juice shop. Um, the Juice Shop is an open um, source web application that is intentionally insecure. Um, it encompasses um, vulnerabilities from, um, from the entire web top 10, along with many other security flaws found in real world applications. So the first scenario um, is that we want to limit the opportunities an attacker has for targeting our application. For example, we don't I expect anyone to directly interact with our fleet of, of Juice Workshop um, web server, neither is application load balancer nor EC2 instance. So uh, we already deployed um, like um, EC2 uh, a web server. Um, we have to, we have, um, we have the fleet of uh, EC2 instances with um, where our application is being is, is running on it, and we have a load balancer. Um, that has that is also attached to to the EC2 instances for load balancing traffic across um, the two um, EC2 instance, which is this, um, which is this. So this um, load balancer um, load balancer has a uh, domain name which was DNS name which was generated for us, and one of the things we want to protect is that we don't want. Um, we don't want this um, this URL exposed to anybody. We don't want anybody to be able to access our um, this shop using the URL. So if you look at this, if you copy this out, um, if you copy this URL, and um, and open it, it should lead us to. Sorry. So this URL of our load balancer, this won't prevent so that users, uh, users will not be able to, or any attacker will not be able to hijack this um, URL of our load balancer and 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 and, um, and have access to to our web application. So. We we'll want to protect our application load balancer so that it's uh, a set request only from the platform uh, distribution. These are platform distribution that we um, that we uh, implemented for 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 caching and distributing our um, services across the globe, and we generated a URL also. So if you open this, you also it should also lead to um, to our web server. You understand. So from the cloud front, we're able to reach uh, our, our web server, and from um, the application load balancer, we're able to but would, should restrict access from this. And one of the ways um, we are going to do that is that we would uh, be using advanced request um, routing with a condition based on HTTP header on the load uh, application load balance side. Uh, the benefit is that it locks the application load balancer. To, uh, the, to the cloud front distribution. And it doesn't require maintenance or usage of any other services to configure it and um, doesn't add any cost. So let's 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 go to um to our cloud front that we've done. Okay. So we're protecting our origin uh, with um, edit. Um, let's edit this. So here we are going to add um so yeah, um, we are adding 
the uh, header and header, add and header. So the header, we're going to use um, the key value pair um, header, control C, then the value um, is this, control C. Control C. So we're adding the header first to the um, cloud front, then um, let's save. So also let's go to our load balancer and also add that. Okay. So now we, we, we need to um, configure um, load balancer, the application load balancer to forward to um, EC2 instances only, the requests that include the custom header that uh, we set up earlier. So uh, to accomplish that, we, can, we have to edit uh, the rules in the default list now of the application load balancer or add a new one with required rules and replace the default. Uh, the default. So, um, so let's just go to uh, the listener. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so we edit this. Uh, we edit this. Okay, no, let's we edit the rules. So this is what we are going to edit the rules here. Then, um, yeah, we are going to let's let's edit, let's edit the first one and let's delete this. Then let's add our condition that um, HTTP header. So um, we had the header like this, Control V, and the value is. Um, To see. So let's save it. Then let's leave it. So we, we are saying that uh, this is the rule ID that if anything matches this um, header and the um, the value, let it forward it to uh, the DDoS resiliency workshop, which is which is uh, <coughs> uh, which is the um, EC2 instance instances then let's edit this as well let's update first so let's edit this too so this is saying if any other request uh if there is if all match requests otherwise not routed what do we want it to do so we want that to um, return a fixed error um four three so would we would delete this then add, um, return the fixed error response, then um, 403. So we can add any response to the body, like saying the request is not allowed. So let's update. So initially, um, so we've updated this. Um, let's just test. Um, let's let's test again. Uh, so let's copy. So this is the URL for our load balancer initially. So um, let's copy this again. Let's paste. So can you see the request is not allowed? Um, so, but don't forget that we have our cloud phone should be our external facing URL for uh, users globally. So what we'll do is to just um, copy, copy the URL. Yeah. Is the URL here. Control C. Then paste. Now we have access. We can have access now via the CloudFront um, URL, but we don't have access to the application for Clear via um, the balance URL. 